Good day to everyone, and especially the computer systems servicing learners of senior high school in a pallet standalone one. This is your teacher, Engineer Alshen S. Malonso. In this video, we will tackle the steps in PC assembly, wherein we have installed and configured computer systems and network. Sa pag-assemble po ng personal computer, we have to remember that before computer assembly, meron tayong mga ipe-prepare. During computer assembly, what are the steps? And then after computer assembly. Before computer assembly, number one, do not forget the safety procedures or our operational health and safety procedures. Check and prepare your working area, your tools, computer parts to assemble. Iba-iba po kasi ang mga available na parts minsan sa mga computer. Wear the PPE if needed and available. Minsan po, no, yung assemble natin, dalawa yung hard disk, walang optical drive, may optical drive. So, in this particular unit, makikita nyo po. So, kapag nakapag-repair na po tayo, ilalagay na natin ang processor dun sa motherboard. So, titignan po natin ang processor. Meron po siyang triangle na gold. Tignan din natin yung slot kasi meron din po siyang triangle na gold. Meaning, dun po natin masisit or that is the pin 1 of the processor. Paglagay po natin sa processor, carefully secure the processor by putting the lock. And then, kukunin po natin ang heatsink with CPU pan. Titignan natin kung paano ilalagay sa ating motherboard. In this case, meron pong apat na butas wherein ilalagay po natin yung mga lock ng ating heatsink and CPU fan. Heatsink and CPU fan is very important to maintain the temperature of the processor and to prevent overheating. So ilalagay lang po natin mabuti and always remember, safety po ang kinoconsider din natin. Iniwasan nating masira ang mga computer parts, iniwasan din po natin ma-injury yung taong nag-a-assemble ng unit natin. So once fitted na po siya, kunin natin ang ating flat screwdriver at ilak natin yung four sides. Remember po, nagbe-base po ang itsura ng ating fan dun po sa pagka-design ng heatsink at po yung mga motherboard. Yung iba po, square type yung kanilang uh, heatsink and fan. After that, we will now connect the 4 pin yeah, dun po sa ating 4 pin power connector dun sa motherboard para po masupplyan ng power yung ating CPU fan. Just carefully install the pin. Okay? Next! After that, nakaprepare na po yung ating motherboard, we will now get our memory or yung RAM natin or DDR. Install the memory module. Tignan po natin yung nuts niya. Hindi naman po natin ma-install ng balikta dyan. Then carefully sit it on the slot and then push its side. Kukunin natin ang motherboard and system casing. And then po, if fit na natin, properly place the motherboard to the system casing. Pakicheck nyo po sa back panel, dapat sakto po yung mga back panel. For example po, yung ating VGA, USB port, LAN port, audio port, at yung mga PS2 pins natin. In this case po, meron pa tayong DDI. Susunod po niyan, kukunin natin yung screws, and then syempre, isuscrew natin yung motherboard for safety. Dapat po, hindi siya gumagalaw. In standard, in test the assessment po, ang gusto po nila ay maglalagay tayo ng 6 screws po na ilalagay nating mabuti. So, mapapansin po yung kamay ko mayroon na brace tawag po dyan ay the anti-static wrist strap para po maiwasan ng dami sa computer parts, maiwasan din po natin na tayo ay mag-ground. Yan. So, nilalagay na po natin yung screws ng motherboard. After that, we will now install all our drives. So, ilalagay natin itong hard disk drive na SATA. Yan. In this case po, isa lang yung hard disk. So, pwede pong meron pa kayong additional SSD. Pwede pong meron din kayong additional optical drives. So, pagka-install ng motherboard sa system casing, ilalagay nyo na po yung ating mga drives. So, in this case, we have a hard disk drive na SATA. So, safely secure it with the screw. Tighten up the screws. And then, we now go to daughter card. So, meron tayong video card. We have a 2 gig dedicated video card na i-install po natin dun sa tinatawag nating PCIe. Okay? So, carefully, yan, install the video card. 
and then press it para po mag-lock siya. After that, we now put the screws again to secure the video card. So, yung system natin ito ay may dedicated video card. Yung pong unit nyo, possible po na meron pang additional na mga daughter cards. So, isesecure lang po natin yon. So, we are now installing the video card. And then, if possible, if you have other daughter cards, install na natin. Now, we go to the front panel connector. Front panel connector po, kung mapapansin nyo, meron po akong hawak na audio, meaning po may audio port sa harapan yung ating system casing. Meron din po akong hawak na USB port panel kasi po meron din po siyang USB port sa harapan. So ilalagay lang po natin, hindi naman po tayong magkakamali dyan. So ang ginagawa po natin is we install cables and the front panel connectors. Kapag nalagay na po natin yan, pupunta na tayo dun sa power LED, power switch, reset switch, and the HDD LED. Yan, ito po medyo maliliit kasi yan. Kung hindi nyo po makita mismo ang label ng motherboard, we can actually review the manual of the motherboard. Kung wala pa rin po, isearch po natin sa internet yung model po ng motherboard so that Makikita po natin kung paano natin i-coconnect yung front panel switches. Especially po power switch and reset switch. Dahil kapag po hindi natin nailagay yan, hindi po gagana yung ating power switch reset switch. So we install it carefully. Yan, ilalagay lang po natin. Okay, kapag na-install na po natin yan, titignan na po natin yung other cables. So kanina po, ano po ba yung in-install natin? We install a hard disk drive. Yan. So gagamit po tayo ngayon ng SATA cable. Ilalagay natin sa port ng SATA connector po ng ating motherboard, yung other end of the cable. Then the other end of the cable will go to the hard disk drive. Make sure po na kahit pa paano, inaayos po natin ang mga cables. After installing all the cables, we now we are now ready to install the power supply unit. So titingnan po natin ang power supply unit kung alin po yung nasa taas niya. Kung mapapansin niyo po, nakataas yung yung isang screw niya or yung isang butas niya ay iba yung location meaning yung po yung taas. Yan, tingnan niyo po, oh, hindi siya sa sulok. So after we put the power supply on it, on its proper place, lalagay na po natin yung mga screws. Tighten up the screws. After that, we are now ready to connect the power supply dun sa ating motherboard. Kaya nga po importante yung lesson natin ng motherboard, di ba? Meron tayong video tutorial din nun. So una is yung 4-pin. Yan, power connector. Yan, ilalagay po natin. Hindi naman po magbabaligtad yan kasi merong lock yan. Unless po, pinwersa nyo talaga. Next is the 20 plus 4 Power connector. Ayan. So, ilalagay natin dun sa, ayan, dun sa slot na nasa motherboard. This will supply the main power or the main electricity needed by the motherboard. And then, i-organize po natin yung ating mga cables. Lastly, kailangan din po natin lagyan ng power supply yung ating hard disk drive. So, kung meron kayong optical drive, lagyan nyo rin po siya ng power supply at ng data cable like the SATA. So we install the power supply, connect every power connector possibles. Kung may sobra po, i-organize ang cable, itabi. Before closing the system casing, kung meron po kayong system pan, paki-install na lang. Test the unit if it is working. Kung working unit po yan, unplug after testing. Kapag successful na po, we can now close or cover the system casing. And then, ilalagay po natin yung final two screw bago po natin isara yung ating system casing. Yan. Nasa final part na po tayo ng ating steps in PC assembly. Okay na. Pag okay na po, we are now ready for OS installation. Congratulations! Nakapag PC assembly na tayo. After PC assembly, do not forget to clean the working area. Sort 
maintain and keep the tools. Okay? Thank you and God bless. I hope po may marutunan kayo. Goodbye!